So, Jingle Jess. Now, it's actually been almost nine months, eight or nine months, since I did the original Jingle Jess video before the whole Hero rework. And time has gone super quickly. But here we are today. Now, she looks really cool, but what exactly can she do? She has the perk Bear With Me Plus. It increases Teddy duration by 12 seconds. Now, this could be very good in those lower missions. You're not going to have as strong as a Teddy as Cyberclops or Trailblazer Quinn can have. But again, this Teddy's going to have more duration, so more overall damage to be outputted by a single Teddy use. Now, the build I've gone with this, Preemptive Strike, just because I want to do a tiny bit of extra damage against full health enemies, and nothing else is really useful with a Teddy build. We have Berserker to increase the Teddy damage by 30%. Impossibility Matrix, just so spending a Charge Fragment reduces Teddy cooldowns by an additional 10%, which will be very good as well. Overbearing, so it increases the range by two towers, and the further you are further away they are the more damage they take fragment generation just so every 39 limbs we get an extra charge fragment and then bear stare just so it fires more lasers from the eyes now if i am correct here teddy has a 60 second cooldown if we use a charge fragment it takes that to 42 seconds but using impossibility matrix as well should take that to 36 seconds now if we use our teddy we should really once our teddy's been fully used up and we've had that fragment we should have only nine seconds left on the cooldown i think if i've done my maths right that is correct but we're going to hop into a mission and just see how good jingle jess is so I've entered this mission and i do actually think it's bugged because there's no time at the top it is an eliminate and collect there's been no timer for about two minutes, but I think I might have just jinxed that straight away. Now, let's see if I'm correct with it only being nine second cooldown at the end. Here we go, let's throw my teddy down. So that should stay. Now look at our cooldown in the bottom right. I'll just try and zoom in actually, since I can. It's gonna take a while, look. We've got 29, 28, 27. So that should take, you know, a decent amount of time. The teddy's actually doing fairly decently, you know. I do like Cyberclops more, just because, as well as buffing teddy, he buffs your regular weapons. We should have nine seconds left on Teddy here. I tell you what, this could actually be a very useful Teddy build. It's holding up quite well. Yeah, we have nine seconds in the mission without Teddy. I mean, you can also throw that up to get your fragments. I think this could be a very, very good Teddy build, you know? Really good Teddy build. I've just put that up. Look, we've got our Teddy back already. We'll throw it down again. It lasts up until nine seconds remaining. We're going to be getting our charge fragments as well i had to go and farm an additional charge fragment right at the start just to get the ball rolling really let's get another one it's gonna just keep getting those i tell you what this teddy's a lot stronger than i thought it was gonna be i'm so used to having an energy teddy with cyber cops now it's not even shooting okay but i'm so used to having an energy teddy with cyber cops now i just kind of forgot how much damage you can actually do even with the wrong element again we can wake these up teddy's almost back it's only nine seconds without Teddy. That is really cool. I wonder if you can actually reduce that, you know? Depending on which way you, you know, change your heroes around. Look at that. And I tell you what, if your Teddy runs out and there's still a horde, you've got Seismic Smash just to whack him out the way as well. And you've got Phase Shift to get back out of the way. So, that's Jingle Jester's ability so far. I want to see how well this actually works on an encampment hopefully encampments spawn on eliminating collects i'm not too sure if they do but if they do we'll get an encampment so this is kind of strange we've kind of got a dwarf and i never even realized these existed i just thought that was a bug then but it actually says small encampment and large encampment i have no idea when that was added that's kind of weird well let's try it let's see if one teddy can actually take out two encampments a large and a small one here we go just break through these oh they'll all break themselves won't they can one teddy do it that is the biggest question ever right small encampment is gone here's the large encampment We've got around 15 seconds ish left on teddy he's i tell you what he's getting through the blaster pretty quickly there we go one te and we've still got five four three i don't know we're about four or five seconds to spare as well though. that was really really good i am liking this build already it, i don't want to call it an afk teddy build but or teddy hero i should say but i mean you can kind of just you know throw a teddy down and then just kind of go i'm not going to say afk because i don't want people going afk but at least if you 
are going to use it as an AFK teddy build, at least you're actually doing something with the teddy rather than not using it at all. And yeah, we're not getting too much damage off on the smasher there, but there's where you got seismic smash. There we go. Seismic smash. How good is that? We have an absolute massive horde here. Just got to get a bit of that. Being 100% honest here, I think I might make this my lower level um, build. Because if I do anything in twine like power level 88 and below, well this is an 88 mission, I would normally put a Cyberclops build on and just use Teddy. I wouldn't even shoot. But I'd probably, I, I actually think I'll use this build in just those missions where... Everything's too easy. My weapons are too over. Like, I'm not going to use 130s on like 88 enemies or whatever. Especially in those like you know Stonewood or Plankerton V-Book missions, I like to run with subs as well. I, I yeah, I'm really considering using this build over everything else just because it's, it's Teddy's damage. Teddy lasts forever, not really forever, but it just lasts a very long time. And there's next to no cooldown. Why did these husks? not get brought over come over here husks just lasts an incredibly long time we've still got another you know 11 seconds of teddy left see if we can do this without moving then we'll have nine seconds without teddy oh he's gonna go through the side nine seconds out today will a husk come and hit me in those nine seconds don't think so let's try and get him over here come on come back over here husks Come to me. They're not even coming. Tell you what, let's do this. Rain from. You can barely even see that, can you? There you go. So you can see it. I actually think this is probably the best, one of the best teddy builds. For, mm, for all round teddy, probably yeah, this. I'm gonna say for all round teddy, probably this. I used to say Trailblazer Quinn. She increases damage and fire rate, but you've lost so much duration there. I think this is probably the best teddy build because, again, you're eliminating husks at an incredibly whoa, fast rate there. And it lasts an awfully long time and there's barely any cooldown. I absolutely love this hero. Cyberclops for me in the higher missions, just because as well as buffing teddy... Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. As well as buffing teddy, he also just buffs your... Oh, hello? Can I seismic smash? He buffs your um, energy weapons as well because they can chain. Damage chaining is incredibly useful. There we go. Go on, Teddy. You can do it. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this. Really am. There's another horde over here. I've still got 15 seconds left. That Teddy's not even gone yet. I'm not used to it yet. Not at all. I've only got two minutes left of this mission. I might go in as... I, actually, I might go in an encampment mission, you know? If there's not uh, an encampment mission that isn't smokescreen. Well, I don't know if I got my terminology right there, but... Hopefully there's an encampment mission that doesn't have smokescreen in. That's what I'm trying to do. We're almost about to finish and a massive horde has just spawned. It is just going to tear through it completely. It is. Someone's put the shock tower, but still. I am. I absolutely love this build. I did not think I'd like Jingle Jess in the slightest. I did before the rework. She was 100% my um, Teddy Specialist. Um, either er early this year, late last year, when I got her in the Foss Knight event. Absolutely loved Jingle Jess because very long duration and a very strong teddy as well but i really really think this is one of the best outlander teddy builds so jingle jess i a summing up i absolutely loved her i think she's probably the best one for the lower missions at least just so you can don't want to waste your 130s or you know 106s if you're going into really low zones just do that v -book mission or just helping someone out i think she's very very good in terms of that you can just put that teddy down and just, you know, I won't say go AFK, but you don't really have to worry about anything because that Teddy's got very good range. It's got a lot of damage. It'll be wiping out all the husks, all the husklings, all the huskies, everything. I do think, apart from smashes, obviously, Teddy doesn't really do too much against smashes. But then again, she's got the seismic smash, which you can just punch through those smashes when you want as well. So she's very good. You don't have to be wasting ammo. You don't have to be wasting um, durability on weapons. You don't have to be crafting extra weapons to do these missions as well as for encampments as well we did two encampments a small encampment and a large encampment i didn't know different sizes existed in encampments until around five ten minutes ago which i was quite surprised with but again very well against encampments so those two encampments wiped them out completely quickly so i do like jingle jess i think i will save this build 
and use this in the lower missions, especially on stream when we do the V missions playing with subs. I just help subs in those V but wishing wishings missions. But yeah, I am gonna leave this here. Do let me know what you guys thought of this. And as always, thank you for watching.